Good afternoon. I'm here to talk about everybody's favorite subject. Let's go. So I think I have a hypothesis, and I'm going to discuss it a, a little bit more, that we don't think about branching strategies in depth or enough. Um, I'm on Twitter. You can follow me at the DevOps Guru. And uh, I do some DevOps coaching and consulting, so I get to see a lot of this out in the real world. Um, so when I say that DevOps is missing something, one of the key tenets of DevOps is systems thinking. Okay, And I don't mean to say that people intentionally forget about systems thinking. They just forget about it, it unintentionally. So if branching strategy is supposed to be the best thing since sliced bread, or you know, a tool that you use is supposed to be the best thing since sliced bread, why does it feel or look like we're trying to navigate through a train yard um, with you know, no knowledge of how to actually navi navigate through the train yard? We're not a train engineer. We're not uh, a, a, a person that works in that train yard. So it also kind of feels like you know, when you go out in the real world and you read everybody's expertise, and you look at all the tools, and you look at all the strategies that everybody use, it's more like organized chaos. At least that's what I see. Maybe I don't work with enough um, high performers. So my hypothesis and what I get to talk about for the next three and a half minutes are, is, to, is to say that the less complex or the more simple your branching strategy is, the more simple your product is going to be or maintaining it. So just in case you don't know, feature branching. Who uses feature branching? Good number of people. Feature branching, you take a feature, you work on it by yourself in its own little space, and then you merge it back in. Then there's this more complex model called Git Flow. Who uses this? Super complex. I see people use it right. I see this one get abused the most often, unfortunately. It has a place um, in understanding that all your code needs to be, you still need to maintain all the code, but it's more complex. Then there's trunk-based development. So Jez Humble and all of the research that's being done right now emphasizes trunk-based development. They don't say just work in a trunk all the time. You can do feature branching if you want to, but short-lived branching is key. And then there's release-based. This is the one that I like stomp my foot, don't do this. <laughs> so hopefully, maybe you do try to change. Um, and then feature toggling. So if you're doing trunk-based development, it's it's kind of necessary to, to try to do feature toggling, especially if you work iteratively or in, with an agile process. Um, and then there's the tools. So all the tools have their own special documentation that try to walk you through how best to use the tool, even if there's just Git behind the scenes. Obviously, Git flow doesn't work very well with Subversion, vice versa. Um, but you still have all of these problems that you have to work through, even though we know there's experts on the processes. We know there's experts with the tools. We still need usable processes for our own organizations. And that means that we have to learn, as an organization, what works best for us. So among the, or on that complexity curve, and I'd probably argue if I actually had you know, some real hard data, that this isn't a linear problem. It's more exponential. So just thinking about the number of branches that you have to maintain or keep your head around and all of the work that you're working on at once as work in progress and keeping that down, it's all, it's more exponential, right? So um, reducing work in progress. The other problem is if you're using a model where you create a lot of branches, you might be doing work that's not actually going to get out into a production environment, which is a problem because then you're spending time doing something that you might never get back to. Now, with Git, it makes it really easy to do that. But if it's used right, you're going to um, merge things often. <clears throat> and then as a group, we tend to be poor multitaskers. So the more often we work together and on fewer things, the better off we are. So all that to say, Yoda asks you to keep it simple. What do I mean by keeping it simple? Keeping it simple doesn't mean that it can't be complex. Keeping it simple just means that Everybody knows what's going on. Everybody knows how to use their own internal process the right way so that when it comes time for changes to come together for a release or a deployment, everything works together very, very smoothly. That's how I hope you can be epic with your own branching strategies and reduce the complexity of your product.
Thanks for your time. Thank you, Logan.